Hey Aquarius, what's up with you all? This is Luna the Moon Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. And this particular reading is for the fellow, fellow sign of Aquarius. Uh, remember, this is for my subscribers only. So in case if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, uh, please do not forget to subscribe for me to catch up with your energies next. And uh, do leave a comment if this reading resonates with you. And just in case if you are looking for a personal paid private session, do not forget to, uh, you know, click on the link below in the description box my instagram for of my instagram page i take bookings from there so in case we want to book one you can reach out to me directly message me and i'm gonna give you a slot remember this is not a free uh, reading okay this that will be a paid private session uh a charged one and uh, also uh, remember that this is a collective spread this may may not resonate with each and every one of you and time is fluid so it may may not resonate with you or it may resonate a few days later okay now this is for my dear Aquarius for the remaining days of January what is expected what is it that my Aquarius should know is going to happen in the remaining days of January So let me put the mosaic together first. <laughs> okay, so we have 10 of wands, we have seven of pentacles, we have six of pentacles, we have wheel of fortune, and we also have three of pentacles. So third party situation can be, or if not a third party, this is for very few of you. For majority, I see that you're being very, very, very overburdened with the amount of work that you're doing. You're stretching yourself. You're overburdening yourself. I see that, uh, you know, patiently, you're waiting and watching for your money to grow. You have been juggling with money, with your finances. There has been an imbalance. And with the Wheel of Fortune, you're waiting for uh, good time, abundance to fall in in your finances. So in the remaining days of um, January, I see you're more bothered about your finances rather than your love life because love life I see is not uh, going pretty smoothly because of your work. You're feeling overburdened and that may be also affecting your love life and you're looking for abundance in all the areas of your life. The Empress card tells me that you definitely have your eyes on somebody, somebody who you find very attractive, beautiful and your emotions and your feelings are growing for that person, very caring, very nurturing as well. Somebody maybe, uh, somebody that you're dealing with can be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, somebody with a heavy Venus or a heavy Jupiter uh, place in their chart somewhere right now. With five of pentacles, I also feel, okay, with five of pentacles, I also feel that, you know, uh, you have incurred some amount of loss in your finances that is something that you're trying to recover the world card is telling me that you're just waiting and hoping for this particular situation to get over this negativity to get over the losses the financial problems that you're facing you're just waiting for this particular thing to get over hence you okay you're dealing with your counterpart empress and the emperor right here okay you're dealing with a, a counterpart aries so I see that you're waiting for this particular situation to get over. Meanwhile, I see that uh, you may have pushed this person away and you may have kind of behaved very abruptly and rudely and kind of very, uh, you know, you became very stubborn with this person as well. Okay, you kind of wanted this cycle to end. And right now, you guys are actually in, uh, in a no contact situation and you are the one who pushed them away. But you do know that in the future you will reconnect with with the thought process that you will reconnect okay right you are right now you just want to focus on your finances on your career on your goals on your uh, on your on your uh, targets okay you want to do you you don't want anything uh, to do with love you don't want anything to do with companionship uh, or a partnership but you do feel sorry about the person you do miss them you do want to reconcile you do want to meet them you want to party with them you want to catch up with them but you are not taking any step forward because somewhere down the line i feel that you know right now you feel that you know uh focusing on finances and career will be better rather than focusing on love because that is going to divert your mind okay that is something that I'm thinking, dear Aquarians. You do want a reconciliation with certain somebody. 
okay and badly they think about you think about them a lot a lot you want a reconciliation at least to start with a friendship cancer scorpio pisces okay nine of wands i see that you may have even blocked them in a fight okay you want to go towards them you want to start afresh but you're not taking any action you so want to do that but you're not taking any action because if you see over here chariot chariot card in this particular deck if you see this person is not riding the bicycle the animals are sitting right in front and uh, this person is sitting on the bike not riding but not moving forward so it's like a stuck energy so even if they want to proceed if, even if you want to go ahead and start a new connection you're not taking any action because you feel very discontent very heartbroken you know that this person is somebody that you can have a life with but you're not taking any decision right now stuck in your head uh, and you know that you know you also feel heartbroken because of this situation all right so this is what is going to happen and you're overthinking as well anyway so let's see what is the advice for my dear Aquarius, please for the remaining days of january 2023 keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation and the second one i have is express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so i see that you know you need to have an open mind because you also have a lot of criteria when it comes to your soulmate okay because they differ from your usual time just have an open mind usually your soulmate is around you that is when this card pops up and you are kind of not uh, looking at them with express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture that tells me that you know you need to express your love okay stop stopping yourself make a move all right a religious factor card is telling me that uh there has been certain situation probably you're bringing up they're bringing up or family background or situation as such that is not you know you uh you know up to the par or i would say not up to the par but you guys uh, your family background or something does not match or probably uh somebody's from a well-to-do family and somebody is not or probably your community is different your caste or religion would be different that can also be a you know, or probably you're from an orthodox family or they can be from an orthodox family something of that sort is definitely there all right guys so that's about it dear aquarians uh do leave me a comment down below if this reading resonates with you and do like share subscribe to my channel Bye bye